Well, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Thursday morning, and we are picking back up, uh, continuing in our psalms for the day. Uh, I'm going to finish up today Psalm chapter 6. I'm looking at verses 7 through 10. That will complete Psalm 6. And then we'll pick up on Friday with Psalm 7. So Psalm 6, 7 through 10, the remainder of the chapter. My eyes grow weary with sorrow. They fail because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil, for the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and dismayed. They will turn back in sudden disgrace. Well, what we can share together out of this, um, we all, every time we read God's Word, or every time someone shares God's Word, we all get something a little bit different, and it, and it takes on different textures and different colors uh, pertaining to what we're going through in our individual lives. Well, there's a few things in there that, that we can be on common ground with, and, and it's these things I'd like to point out to us today. Uh, in verse 8, um, the, the 8b, For the Lord has heard my weeping. You know, when we cry, when we weep, over situations, over the, the different trials and tribulations that we have here on earth. You know, we're waiting for our heavenly home. So, you know, God never promised us an easy road down here. Um, he, Christ, before um, He uh, went to the cross, before He ascended to the Father, He prayed for all believers. And, and He, you know, He prayed to the Father, don't take them out of the world, but just be very present with them. And, and He did that, God God is very present with us through the Holy Spirit. So when we when we weep or when we cry over uh, what's going on in our lives, um, we can take comfort in what the psalmist wrote. Uh, the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord hears our cries. Take comfort in that. And then the verse 9, The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. You know, when we're going through those difficult times, we, we come to the end of our ropes and we, we cry out for mercy. And that's when God really shows up and uh, shows out in our lives. He, he comes uh, to our aid. Uh, and then the last part of nine, the Lord accepts my prayer. You know, people, people sometimes question whether God is hearing their prayers. I, I've, I've been there. Um, we've all been there. You know, I'm praying for a particular thing uh, to take place, a particular healing or or a need to be met, and, and you know, it's almost like, did God hear my prayer? And then what I realized when we come, when I personally have come on the other side of that prayer request, that I, the thing that I prayed for, I do realize that God did hear my prayer. He just didn't answer it maybe the way that I wanted Him to, or the way maybe that I expected Him to. But we can be guaranteed, we are guaranteed, a hundred percent that God hears our prayers and he will answer his way, but he will answer. We take comfort in that. We take comfort in knowing that in times of sorrow, in times of weeping, weeping, the Lord hears. In times when we cry for mercy, the Lord hears. And when we know we pray, we take comfort and encouragement in knowing that the Lord accepts my prayer. And then the hard part on for us is to accept his answer but he always hears and he always answers um, today as you go through the life that God has laid out for you today um, be encouraged to know that when you're speaking with the Lord when you're going through a difficult time he's very present you know me as your pastor I can't be in your home um, I may can come and stand in your yard but during these times I can't come to your home and and, and give you a pastoral touch or a pastoral hug or a pastoral uh, physical encouragement. Uh, but God is always present through the Holy Spirit. We're never alone. So today, when you cry out to the Lord, when you possibly weep or cry over a situation, and when, you, when, you're, when you're crying out for mercy, He knows. He's very present. Today, my prayer for you is that you sense His presence. Knowing His presence and sensing His presence is, is different. We know He's present, but
but do we sense that he is? Well, I'm telling you, <laughs> he is. So my prayer for you today is that you sense him very powerfully in your life today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this Friday, um, this Thursday that you've given us, Lord. Um, this is a Thursday that you have created for us. Today that you've created for us to live and move through. And I pray to Lord, today, Lord, that as we've read your word together, that we take comfort in knowing that you hear. That we take comfort in knowing that, that you're very present in our times of trouble. Help us to sense that. Help us to know that, uh, not in our heads alone, but in our hearts, where we truly connect with you, Lord. Just speak loudly to us today. And again, Father, use us today for your glory. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We exalt you. We magnify you. We thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray together. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a great Thursday. I hope that you're able to um, follow along with our Wednesday night Bible study last uh, yesterday, last night. We Kim and I had a little bit of trouble uh, getting that video posted, uh, but it, it is being posted, and hopefully um, either late Wednesday night you were able to see it, or early this morning you'll be able to, to go back and look at that recording. Again, I apologize for that. It's just the way that it happened. Um, we were out of power for a, about a day and a half, um, because of the storms that went through, so we had to, to to do some different things with hot spots and on our phones, and nothing worked. So we ended up going up to the church and doing it that way. And it, it still took a, a while to download that. But I hope that you were encouraged through Wednesday night Bible study, um, and I hope that this this uh, passage in Psalms today encourages you. Well, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day.